Boss Monster from Brotherwise Games is a dungeon building card game. You play the role of a boss monster from a 1980s style side scrolling adventure game. The retro pixelated artwork is excellent and really sets the nostalgic tone for you. The game is simple. You build a dungeon and heroes come to run through it. If your dungeon is difficult enough, they die and you collect their soul for points. At the start, you draw a boss card. This represents you during the game. Each comes with their own special abilities like drawing extra cards or destroying parts of an enemy dungeon. So, you draw some cards, you lay out a room or two, and get started. Each room will deal damage to a hero as he or she passes by, and you have to kill them before they reach at the boss at the end. You. It gives the game a uh, tower defense kind of feel. There are spells to cast to screw with heroes in your dungeon, draw them to your dungeon instead of someone else's, or even aid them in someone else's dungeon. The variety makes for a good spectrum of strategies. Would you rather ensure your own victory, or just make sure that heroes are succeeding in someone else's dungeon? Making sure everybody else dies before winning is actually a viable strategy. I'll buy it, uh dickish one that'll probably get you focus fired into the ground. Now, there are two room types when building your dungeon. Monster rooms and trap rooms. Monster rooms will usually do more damage and trap rooms will usually have better effects. There are exceptions for both, but that's the generic rule. The more powerful rooms are called advanced rooms. You can only play an advanced room if there's already a room of the same type there. Basically, the advanced ones take the place of the original. Advanced rooms will do more damage, have better effects, and so on. Given that your dungeon can only have five rooms, it becomes very strategic. The goal is to do enough damage or to use the right tricks to kill a hero before he reaches you. Now, one might think that just throwing down all the highest damaging rooms would make for a sound strategy, but there's another facet to worry about. You see, a hero will only come to your dungeon if you have the type of treasure that they like. Fighters want magic weapons, mages want spellbooks, clerics want holy relics, and thieves want money. You have to design your dungeon both to do damage and to appeal to multiple hero types in order to win. When heroes show up in town, there in the middle, they will head for the dungeon that has the most of their favored treasure type. So if your dungeon has nothing but magic weapons and money in it, none of the mages or clerics are going to come your way. If there's a tie between two dungeons for a certain treasure type, the heroes will remain undecided and will remain in town until the tie is broken. Every turn, more heroes will show up in town, so the game moves very quickly. Each turn, players will have opportunities to build rooms and overwrite old ones in order to appeal to a certain class of hero. So, if a bunch of fighters build up in town, players might rush to build rooms that have magic weapons in order to draw those particular sheep to them. Killing multiple heroes in one turn is a great way to sweep the game out from under your opponents. Eventually, the normal heroes will all be used up. When the game reaches this stage, the epic heroes will start coming to town. Your dungeon has become so deadly that only the cream of the crop dare enter it. Epic heroes will have a lot more health, and can sometimes end a game very suddenly. Where regular heroes are worth one soul and can deal one wound if they get through to you, an epic hero is worth two souls when killed, or two wounds if they get through. Boss Monster is fun, fast-paced, and usually lasts between 15 and 20 minutes between two players. You can have up to four, so a full game might last about an hour if everybody knows the rules. My main and only gripe about the game is the bosses themselves. If a hero gets through a dungeon, the ultimate challenge is there at the end, right? The epic fight with the dragon, or the toad, or the sexy demon lady, whatever. Well, in this game, the bosses cannot defend themselves. They have a special ability that activates when you have built five rooms in your dungeon, but that's really it. I feel as though there's a missing game mechanic here. Shouldn't a boss be able to deal damage, dole out some trick or something to kill a hero at the very end? Well, not here. If a hero reaches you at the end of a dungeon, he or she just automatically beats you and deals a wound or two. What, do they raid your whole dungeon, call you a bad name, and just leave? 
The game is called Boss Monster. If a hero wanders up to me after traipsing through my entire evil lair full of traps and minions, I should be able to at least give him a rough time. That kind of struck me as odd. Thankfully, there's something more to spice up the game a little bit. There's an expansion pack called Boss Monster Tools of Hero Kind. This will randomly generate an item in town where the hero shows up before they go dungeon crawling. If an item matches a hero's type, they will take it with them and take advantage of the hero effect that's on the card. If you manage to kill them, you get the item for yourself and you get its boss monster effect. You can only have one item at a time and you can only use them once. A new item will spawn when the heroes no longer have one, and if you take that one with you, as well, you have to decide which one to keep. It's a little lame, if you ask me. I love to hoard items and loot in all the other games I play. It gives me more options. Tools of Hero Kind adds a new facet to the game without taking it over entirely. It almost feels like it should have been in the box to begin with. It makes heroes a little trickier to deal with without making it too difficult. They become more interesting without becoming overpowered. Sort of like giving each hero a special ability without giving them more health and just letting them walk through the dungeon and kill you. Boss Monster is fast, interesting, and screams for a few more expansions. It's a solid game that's been carefully balanced and is a lot of fun at get-togethers where you don't want to sit down for a super long game like Talisman or Monopoly. Quick, fun, and charming, it's definitely worth a look.